Alright guys, it's uh, actually in the morning at the Ed Shed, which is unusual. And I think I need to explain a little bit about the uh, what's been going on. Uh, basically, the videos we've been putting on are sort of a little bit of sequence, and we have got a lot of projects in hand. Unfortunately, we've had some sort of big changes at the shed, which needed to be done, which was the roof leak, which involves moving lots of things, moving things about. And that really has made it very difficult to try and keep any filming or anything continuity going. Now we have got some ideas and we've got some new content and we've also got some new projects which are not cars that are that in my normal sort of system. So basically the is going to be continuing. We are going to be putting on videos, older videos, just to try and obviously just to keep the, the, the algorithms happy. But we are going to be putting some short new videos of new projects rather than long-winded drawn-out projects. Right, this is the Aston that you're seeing. It's uh, two years ago the videos you got. Um, I've done the engine, it runs, it drives. It's got a Brembo brake commercial which you'll see. I had the rear brake problems which you will see. And obviously you will have seen the welding. You have probably not seen too much other of the detail but the car is actually, as you know, for the for the people that probably looked, the car has actually been on the road, driven about, and has caused quite a stir in local in local town. So uh, you'll get to see them all, and that's all coming soon. Right. So one of the major changes we've uh, got rid of the jig from behind the toolboxes, which has gained me about I don't know that much. So that's moved, and that's gone and this now is sort of the tall area a little bit confusing for people because the AF was there and the metric was here so for the people who don't know now we're going to have a lot of trouble um, this is the new storage department the new stores and stores are obviously full of all gripping things um, but we've got some racket we've got the boxes into order now uh, they're not quite done, but as you can see, we're sort of getting there. And uh, we've still got plenty on the floor, as you can see. But the plan is, that's holding up the roof. Because what we've got in the roof is a tin sheet and a window. So we've now got light. So we're now getting this organised. And the press is going to be moved. And we're going to try and find somewhere for the metal to go. So we're going to have actually like a little area of work area, work, the workstation for the vendor. This is another little piece of uh, engineering that's gone on. Look, for all the people who send all the water pouring through, I've done it. And I also put a window in. So now I've got an escape hatch, should I need to get out of the edge shed. Uh, yeah, obviously I've done one side. Right? <laughs> yeah. uh, down here, in this department, We've also got room now to get to the swager without, without necessarily breaking my neck. And we've also mounted the old string and stretcher onto the swager. So that gives me a nice firm base for string and stretching. Hence I've uh, been doing things. So, that's going next. All that's coming out and it's all going to the scrap. And that's been moved. And then hopefully we'll have even more room. Right, so you can see here this side of the shed is the... Uh, Two plus two, and uh, so another F3 type, and a car that people keep asking me about. I've shown you before, and saying, "When are you going to get this down? And when are you going to do the Golf? When are you going to do the BMW?" Now the Golf, I've had for very many years, and I've got to get it down because in front of it, if the eagle-eyed viewers will spot the Cobra pulling head that goes with the jig, which means it goes behind the, the lift. Because I've got to get this, this this and that will to come down. So there's a chance for maybe to get it down, take it to the power wash, jet wash off underneath and have a good look at the car and see what she's like because uh, she still runs and she still drives but I think brake pipe wise and whatever we could uh, possibly buy a lot. I don't know, we'll see. So for now I'd say let me know what you think whether it's worth me doing it. Right, so I know that we've been sort of um, like you know, getting the same videos and the Mark Twos and the, the Aston, it's getting a bit stale. And we've got lots of projects I want to do and I'm trying to get into. But obviously, having to do the roof and having a massive problem over my right hip, it's finding it very, very hard. But there is a lot more to the Ed Shed than just 
Jazz, the Martins and Jaguars, and Scrap and Rust and Cans and Bottles. So if you enjoy watching them, I mean please tick the, the like button, please please subscribe and tick the little bell thing so you'll get alerts when new videos are uploaded because I'm always uploading new content from now on and what we're going to do is make it a bit shorter content with more meat. So, bye. See you soon.